Um, hey everybody, my name is Shauna Gore. This is Scott Alley. Um, Scott is a senior editor, uh, senior managing editor at Dark Horse Comics. Um, I am an editor. Um, we've both been there for a good long time. Um, we're going to give a quick intro uh, to the a very brief overview of the history of horror and comics. Um, and then we're going to open up to questions. So be thinking now if you guys have any questions you want to ask about comics, horror comics, anything like that. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Scott for a few minutes to talk about a little bit of the history of horror comics. So I've been a, a comics fan since, probably since I was about 12, and horror comics brought me into it in a big way. Um, horror has always been an important part of comic books. Superheroes really came to dominate the history of comic books. Um, but it wasn't always that way. In the 50s, every different genre was really well represented in comics, and horror was, was possibly the dominating genre at the time, and everybody read comics. Adults read comics, comics sold in, in the millions, and um, of course, Tales from the Crypt, Vault of Horror, and uh, the, what was the other one? The, 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 the Haunt of Fear. Haunt of Fear, thank you, um, were the big ones from EC, and then every other publisher tried to imitate them. Um, of course, the the more adult oriented horror, uh, the more adult oriented comics got shut down in the late fifties um, through something that we won't go into too deeply. But it ruined the history of comics basically for a long time. It allowed the superheroes and sort of kiddie comics to dominate, and um, it wasn't until the well. I want to give this back to Shauna because the title that kind of turned things around and brought horror back into comics was Creepy and shortly afterwards Eerie, um, which found an interesting way to bring exactly what the EC comics were doing with horror back into comics. Um, just to touch briefly, does anybody uh, in here, I'm sure some of you do, do you guys know about the, the great horror comic scare of the late 50s when Dr. Frederick Wortham shut everything down? There you go. So, so basically what that did was it helped effectively outlaw horror in comics. Um, so in 1962, there was a really innovative publisher named uh, Jim Warren who ran a company called Warren Publishing. And he basically sidestepped all of the censorship uh, decrees that had been cast down upon comics by taking horror comics out of the comic book format and putting them in magazine format. So that's why Creepy is oversized, that's why Eerie is oversized, because the same rules and regulations that applied to horror comics did not apply to comics to in, a, in a, yeah, to comics published in a larger magazine size format. So basically in 1962, horror comics were resurrected, got new life bestowed upon them by Jim Warren and his amazing gang of creators, uh, Matt Warren Publishing, and horror was sort of back on, on the map, and then in a great big way. So that led to, so this was 1962 when Creepy got started, Eerie started in 1963, and from then on it sort of reached a sort of building fever pitch that led up into the 70s, which is when Scott and I were both really sort of coming up and starting to read comics.